I know one of Nicolo, Nicolo Mo. Welcome to another Women and Series. It is a Tobo Sigwe. Let's see Nicolo Mo. Today, I want to discuss ways to be in charge of your home, of your house, as a debut Ways to be in charge of your home. My name is Yoku. Ways to be in charge of your home as a debut. Warning. This topic is strictly for Igbo traditionalists. Please, if you are not Igbo ordinana or you do not want to follow the ways, the conservative ways of the Igbos, this video is not for you. Please. Um, it's not for diverse audience. It's for a specific what audience. Now, repeatedly, repeatedly, I have said that one of the problems, which is existential, one of the problems which is existential to the Hebrews, is the leadership of the home being dragged, challenged, or shaped either by his wife or by the church. So why na alia na anibo keta? So buo wo na debut no na alia na anibo. Owa yon ono tala ono ta. Yana gono ndoka. Ndoka achora ka debut no chio chichi na be. Owa yon choka yana di ewolo gono ofu na be. Ose na hao gono partners. Imagine in we two captain na ship in a ship. Onya wusu wai ni mwe. Ezi bo dibi uno ona mwa. Efa ni ne ufu. Ezi bo dibi uno. Mwa efa ni ne ufu keta. So, one of the ways a church weakening the leadership base of a dibi uno is by taking over the priestly duties of, he, of a man in his house. Woko, woko ona. Most Igbo families, wo pastors, ndoka, father, hancha, no fa wa unde na ache no. Man of God, he fed daddy in the Lord, Okulu. He fed daddy in the Lord. He fed daddy G O Okulu. It's a shame. So today, the church baptizes a man's child, names the child, blesses the marriage, listens to their confessions, serves as a conflict res resolution advocate, decides burial dates, and conducts same burial. They decide what is wrong or right. In homes, is not the man. Woke kuzi opu unya si an obri fe daddy pulu, obri fe father ayi pulu, obri fe onyen kuzi oka ayi pulu. It's a shame, and this is the ways that they have done what shipping the leadership qualities of a man in his homestead. All these functions announced by the church is to the detriment of any married man. That is why I keep warning. If you want to have the authority in your house, I am saying it repeatedly. Don't say na agorokwage. Don't baptize your your child in the church. If you die, do not allow the church to bury you. Eh? If you have a problem, go na unye unye problem. Eh? They should not name your child. They should not bless your marriage for you. That way you will be in total control. Stop making the church the third party in your family because they will take over. Ndoka. Ndoka doka gono. Nde benta. Asi no ye benta. Ikwe hane enaka. Eh? O eza hane eke nocha. Ikwe enaka. Ikwe hane enaka. Ocha mbye. Ibye yoma. Ibye yoma. Ocha wansusu. Inye hane ansusu. Don't make a church, any true debut, no. do not make the church a third party in your family. They will take over. They will take over your family. I'm telling you in all sense of honesty. So any true Igbo traditionalist that wants to be firmly in charge of his home, here are ways you can take back control. So, see, look at the ways you can take back control. Number one, be the priest. In true Igbo 
society. That's what. That's why our religion is more pure, more nearer to sp truth, spirituality. Every man, every debut is expected to be the priest. Muke no na ngulu emori ike nge emori his altar mbubu abro muke. Iye mwa robina gom. Iye mwichi iye mwindi ishi ebe u. So stop every form of morning prayer in your house. I'm saying it now. If a true debuno, stop every form of what morning prayer. Many men do not know that it is through the morning prayer, which are mainly conducted by the women, that their leadership as the head of the house is being attacked spiritually. Makine na yon so mwa ene pepe lo oto mwa ka hekwa apata. Ya zeba ene pepe lo oto musro ndo ka nino. Ke ipo mwa ene pepe lo oto, anye ho dibi uno. That means she is making herself the leader of the house. As a deep, you know, morning prayer should be should be your job through a gorge. That is our fault, Toto. A gorge or the gorge also, the gorge also, the way no gorge. Oh my God, but I have to let the gorge have the gorge a bad form. Have the gorge a bad form. When you look at it, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Umale boy age, or no daughter of Gubeha, or no snow cacone, or a dean. You know, Nimeru, eh, Yapakona, you look it. Any do any day you do not do your egoji or photo to. No one else should do it in your house. Nobody, whether your wife or your children, should openly pray with the family or for the family. I am saying this nobody, no one else should openly pray with the family or for the family. The duty to pray for your family is in your is belongs to you. Only if you are invited, mama do be born. Even in this traditionalist, na go and demand. Mama di jamba, oje pota di bia, obata bia. Sino na alu alu izinu no mono ne me ita. Kose ne ifu unu ne me. It's still the same thing in doka ne me. If you pota di bia, ba kwe na ba born. Mama na go and di she no na born, di she no na born. He kweta polo, he kweta ho. He me kwa ne ne ten. Ke ali da ne a compound your problems in the name of solving your problems. Don't compound your problems in the name of solving your problems. Adu adu eli de ebuta re re amu. Stop being in a haste to bring outsiders into your family, into your homestead. So any prayer that is not done by you. In your home should be conducted privately and individually, not group. There should be no group prayer. Don't do it. Okay, your leadership can attack. There cannot be two captains or priests in your house as a debuno. Masi one conduct her big mother on your conduct on her. Ose ya will win your more more. Ose one say no priest more if on no. If you will priest, poor big, poor and no big, we jay me ye. After all, you must say, "Go no." Only probi, mu amalo be. Only probi, mu amalo be. Are you a captain now in a ship? The second one, provider, a debuno. As a debuno, you must know that the task, providing for the basic needs of your family, the basic needs of the family, of those under your care, is one of your core responsibility. You must provide the basic needs of. Of your family to the best of your ability and conscience. Man of the house means the provider of the house. Oh, hey, that's a man of the house. No, no, man of the house. No, you don't know. I know why I need. I know a lot of people tell you, you know, it's a man of the house. Oh, you were a man of the house. Eh, oh, you were a man of the house. Eh, oh, I had a man of the house. No, no, it's by deeds, it's by actions, and one of the ways is by being the provider of the family, the basic needs of the family. I'm not saying that if your wife is doing something she cannot support. Man, make sure that you are the one providing the basic needs of the family. Number three, trustworthy. Trustworthy. No sensible person wants to live her life in the care of a man who is not worthy of trust. Marriage, as far as ordinary is concerned, is not a true or die affair. Oh no, we no we why or ya na or we if not a die we he is I don't have trust worthy. Please leave the man. This should that do us part. I broke my Igbo tradition. I broke my Igbo tradition. Marriage is not a do or die affair. Only ya no zuma ya to be fair. You are not the perfect one. Go on, Masiko. If you have to marry three times before you find the perfect husband, 
please by all means marriage is not supposed to be suffering and smiling so no sensible woman wants to live live his or her life in the care of a man who is not worthy of trust we must know that trust is earned not bestowed you don't be asking people to trust you no 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 oh if a man do metal cage i trust here your everyday actions must reassure your wife and children that you are capable of leading the home. Actions that will shape you in the eyes of your family should be avoided. Avoided. If you want to action that you take, that your leadership credibility will be questioned, please avoid it. Your wife and the children must be able to vouch for you. They can trust you. This can only be possible when you are truthful. You must be faithful. You children should be able to be able to answer that kind of question. You can leave and nobody will know where you have gone to. You will say that you went to this place. You must be honest in your dealings, both within the house and outside the house. So you must be worthy of trust. Trust is end. Number four, available. A true debut no must be available. An absentee father cannot be a good debut no. The word debut no means the expert husband or the husband that lives in a homestead. I don't understand this madness that is going on. That a man, you say that he or she is married. You are staying somewhere. Your wife and your family are staying in another place. Are you, are you ruling from exile? Are you leading from exile? You should not be an absentee father. How can you be in a control of a homestead that you are not living in? It's not possible. It is not possible. Your absence should be for a limited period of time. Your main base should be with your family and your children. You cannot claim authority where you do not live and reign. Even leaders know that if you do not live with a people, it will be very difficult to search, govern such territory, people residing in that territory. To govern a, a territory properly, you must live with, within that territory. A true debuno must stamp his constant presence around the homestead. A true debuno must stamp his presence, his constant presence around the homestead. Our four beers, we are not as absentee fathers. We must know that homemaking is a serious business. And no serious business is conducted in absentia. There is no justification for being an absentee father. I repeat, there is no justification for being an absentee father. That means you are saying that ego can't like you big. So your business is more important than your family. Number five. A, a debuno must be a respecter of Igbo tradition. A true debuno cannot and should not be an iconoclast. No, no. This does not mean you should not be a, you should not be progressive minded. No, it doesn't mean you cannot be progressive minded. Rather, it means you must realize the importance, the important need of teaching your children the importance of respecting the old ways of our forebears. And hanging on to the important aspect of it so that their own children will know who they were, who they was, and who they should be. You must pass the ways of our ancestors from generation to generation. Remember, most of the ways of our ancestors are orally handed down. Are they a jelly school? What if if you are watching my videos? What if you make it look like you are not in online? It's not possible. It's like if you are going to school, you cannot learn everything you need to learn on in school. Most things are learned through observation. So a true tribunal must be a respecter of tradition, of Hebrew tradition, the ways of your people. A man without a culture is like a vulture. You cannot destroy your culture. You cannot disavow your culture in the name of your people. You cannot be telling your your children that your culture is bad. Your, your, what your ancestors did is bad. Is this one? You are demonizing your culture in the front of No. You must be a defender of your culture. Be showing your children the importance of your culture. 
so that they will be proud of it and be a true ambassador of it wherever they go and when they give birth to their own children they will see the essence to do what to fight and protect and teach their, their the, the culture to their own children so if your people if your children realize that, that you have no regards for your forefathers do you think that they will have regard for you most of the insults their fathers are receiving is because they see how they insulted their own fathers their own forefathers so their children are repaying them back in their own kind any son that watches his father respect his own grandfather his own forefathers will respect his father on your face is a low yaka on your face is a way low yaka so in recap the five ways to be in charge of of your home as a debuter. First, be the priest, be the main provider, trustworthy, be available, and be a respecter of what Igbo tradition. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, and share. I would like to hear from some of you. If you have any question, please you can reach me through the number on the screen or my email address or other my other social media. Thank you. Thank you. I don't want to be colo, he colo more.